Hello everyone, it's me, Glitch172, with more Mujin. We're going to be doing some more watch mode, and it's going to be singles, on single today. Because, more bang for the buck. Today I'm showing off RoboJam and her awesomeness on a variety of characters, so yeah! Anyway, random. Wow, she's about as clumsy as I am. It's great! I love it! Like Maxim, she can combo like there is no tomorrow. Maxim, or whatever the bunny's name is. Seriously. Punctuation. I, pronunciation, I do not know. Then she just flies off. If you're wondering what the gauge is on the bottom of the screen, so am I. I don't know what it is, I don't know what it does, so, uh, yeah. Brutal! She throws plates and your head explodes. She is like, she's just, just like that. So, who else to show off? Who else to show off? Uh, why not? I don't know how this will go. Again, I have no idea how this will go. I, though I am leaning that RoboJam will completely destroy Venom because... RoboJam is the destroyer of worlds! Seriously. You do not believe me, but she is. She is very well designed in terms of AI. Well, at least I know what I'll need as an anti-symbiote weapon. Just get her to go nuts on any symbiotes that even come near me. Great! It'd be great! Ah, well. Doo -doo -doo. Speaking of Venom, in Spider-Man... Ultimate Spider-Man on the, uh, I believe... What game systems was that released on? I had the GameCube version. Anyway, in Spider-Man... Ulti in Ultimate Spider-Man, they actually nerfed the fuck out of Venom. You see... He had rapidly depleting health because the Venom suit was eating him, and it just made an overall Rampage character kind of meh to play as, and it sucked, and I hated it. Oh, well. Oh! Robot on robot fight, because I feel like it. RoboJam versus RoboKula. To those that have played Kirby's Kirby Return to Dreamland, you'll probably recognize that the music as the Chef Kawasaki giant robot music. Why did I put it in this stage? I have no idea. I have no idea. Originally, Robocula was one of my team in the original Mujin videos I did. She was like one of my crew. Because everyone has the team of characters they use. And Robocula was one of mine. But, uh, let's just say RoboJam has quickly replaced her. I keep her around because, well, nostalgia. But, yeah, Robocula's AI looked Look at the difference! Robocula hasn't even gotten a hit in. Also, RoboJam looks better. I, I can't deny it. Uh, it makes me feel bad, but they will always stay and stuff. Another quick fight. Uh, fuzz, uh, 
I'm running out of ideas. I really need to get more characters. Uh, yeah, sure, what the hell. <laughs> RoboJam versus Ash from Evil Dead. Why? Why not? With a more aggressive AI, Ash here would be very potent. But then again, well... Killer Robot of Awesome. What more do you want? That is a lot of plates right there. Some people may have recognized the background music as... The Vile Factory from Mega Man X3. A.K. the best song in that entire effing game. Ah, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis Super. It just caused random shit to happen for no reason. It's awesome. But you could probably block it all like RoboJam did, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough robotic awesome for now. Let me check the time on this. Yeah, seven minutes. Okay, we can get in one match. More match. Whatever! Whee! Let's see, who to end on? Who to end it on? Oh, this should be interesting. Lele has a very aggressive AI to boot, so yeah. This should be interesting. Oh. I really don't know who's going to win in this match. It could go either way. Again, if you're listening to the music in the background or have turned up the volume, you might be able to hear the, the fact that it is Primal Metal from Naruto Love 2. I may need to turn up the volume. I don't know yet. I... I... whatever. Man, this is down to the wire! I honestly didn't know who was going to win there. I actually thought Lele was going to win. Oh well. Ooh, I do love being wrong. She was walking on air. Boom. For the life of me, I still don't know what that little power gauge is for. Really, if anyone would, one would like to explain it to me, please do. I'd appreciate it. It appears to be tied to the super gauge, so I assume the two are related. As I said, RoboJam is the destroyer of worlds. 
Anyway, until next time, folks.